So underneath the submit button, I'm going to add a div here and we want this to float to the right. So we can actually use the bootstrap class pull right. All right, and what we're going to do is is add a button group, and I think there's some snippets uh, under buttons, and maybe it's under components right here, button groups. Okay, so basically we want something like this. Um, I'm going to grab this one here. Okay, and we'll just plug that in. That's what's great about Bootstrap is you just need to basically just copy and paste snippets of code and it, it, it looks really nice. So let's change some things here. Uh, we'll change this to text. Um, and then the next one we'll change to image and then video. All right, uh, we don't need we don't need this role or this aria label. I don't. I honestly don't even know what that is. So let's save that and check it out. Whoops, wrong page. Okay, so that looks good, uh, but we need our icons like this, and we're actually going to use something called Font Awesome. Uh, if you're a developer, you probably already know what this is. It's basically, um, it, it's, it's like the bootstrap glyphs, but there's a lot more to choose from. Um, so you can basically, you just include the CSS file and you can use all of these icons. There's a ton of them in, in a bunch of different categories. All right, so how we're gonna implement it is we're just gonna download the CSS file Okay, so I'm going to open this zip up and in CSS we just want to grab this so copy and we're going to paste that right in our CSS okay and then we just want to include it in the HTML so up in the heading I'm, I'm sorry the head area just change this to font awesome and we should now be able to use the classes uh, so for text let's take a look at the icons and we want something like um, pencil I believe yeah right here so we just need to add this I give you the code right here and we can put that like that. Put a, make sure you put a space after it. And that should show up. Or not. Oh. We need to go to the package uh, that we just downloaded. Where is it? Font Awesome. And we need to bring this fonts folder over. So we're going to copy that and put that. Actually, you know what? Bootstrap already has a fonts folder. So just open it up and then bring all the font awesome stuff over like that. And then that should work. All right, there we go. Okay, so that's text for image. Um, I think there's one for photo. Yeah, so grab this one. I think these are different from the ones on the, the initial on this one here, but that's fine. Okay, and then video. Okay, we'll just I guess we'll just grab this one. All right, so there are our icons. Um, one thing I'm noticing is that our title still says starter template, so I'm going to change that real quick up in the head. All 
All right, so that is our little wall posting form. Next, we need to implement the, all these um, these posts. Okay, so we have some nested forms here. We have the comment form is going to go inside of here, and then we're going to have the comments underneath. All right, so let's um, let's go to. We want to go below the form. Yeah, so we want to go right below the form. Actually, no, I'm sorry. We want to go below everything, below the panel. So this panel here ends here. This one is the actual column ending. Let me just put in a. Um, I'm just going to put in a, a comment here. And this is the. Call MD8 end. Just so we know that that's the end of the column. All right, so here we're going to. Uh, we're actually going to use a panel, but we're not going to have a panel head heading. So if we go to get bootstrap panels, I'm just going to grab this here. All right, uh, I'm going to add a class here of post. And then we have the panel body. OK, in here we're going to have a row. We're going to use the grid inside of these posts. So this will be a row. OK, and in the row we're going to have class column. Uh, column, let's do small. I'm sorry, small two. So two column div, and this is where the, the avatar is going to go. Okay, so we're going to put in, uh, we're going to have a link first. The avatar is going to have a link attached to it. So class post avatar. And we also want to add the thumbnail class, which is a bootstrap class. It'll uh, give us a border and, and a little padding. OK, so that's the class. Now we need href, which is just going to be nothing. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll have it go to profile.html. All right, and we're going to put in the image here, which is going to be the user. I think it's user PNG. I think that's what it's called. Okay, so that's the image. Uh, and then I want the text below it, I want it to be the username. Uh, so let's just say dev user one. Uh, actually, I want to put a div around that. I want it center, so I'm going to use the class text center. Make sure you put the ending div as well. All right, so let's just see what that looks like so far. All right, so that's what we want. We have a little area with the with the image and the username. Now under that we want to have the likes, the amount of likes. So we're going to go right under the link and uh, have another div and give it a class of likes and also text center. Oops. All right, and we're going to have the amount of likes. We'll just say seven likes and. Um, Let's use, actually that's fine, yeah that's fine. So that's the end of the, the two column div, so I'm just going to add that here. Call two, okay so that ends that. Next we need a 10 column, so div class call sm10.
All right, and this is just going to be where the rest of the stuff is. You can see we have our two column, and this is going to be the ten column. So in here, you'll notice that uh, the text is wrapped in this border, and it has this little image here, this little um, arc, so that it looks like a, a text bubble. Okay, so we need to add some CSS for that. Um, so we're going to create a uh, div with the class of bubble. All right, and inside there, we're going to have another div with the class of pointer. And that's going to represent that little arc that makes it look like a, a pointer. And I'm just going to um, paste in a paragraph of just sample text. Okay, it's going to go in here like that. And then underneath the pointer div, we need another div. And we're going to call this pointer border. Whoops, I want it like this. Pointer border. And end the div right here. Nothing's going to go inside of it. All right, and then the bubble, let's see, the bubble div ends right here. It's a good idea to use end comments like this, even if even on every div, um, it just makes it a lot more readable. So after the bubble end, uh, we want the actions, which are these here, these links. Okay, so um, let's see. This will we can make this uh, paragraph tag and give it a class of post actions. All right, um, and then inside there, we'll just have some links. So this one will be uh, comment. And I'm just going to copy this. Okay, so comment, and then we'll have. Uh, like and then follow and share all right so that's that let's check it out okay I want to get rid of that last um, dash all right so underneath that, underneath this, the actions, we're going to have the comment form. So create a div. I know there's a lot of um, classes here, but it's just what we got to do to have all these uh, these elements. It's kind of a, a lot of elements crammed into one spot. Um, so this will have a class of comment form. And this is going to be an inline form. I'm going to go to get bootstrap and grab the inline form snippet. Okay, I'll we'll paste that in here. So all this is going to have is a text input. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this email div. Okay, so type text and then placeholder. Let's just say uh, enter comment. All right, and then we have the button. We'll change this to add. And I think that should do it. Okay, so there's our comment. Uh, oh, we need to get rid of the label. All right, and we can make this bigger with our CSS after. I know it's kind of a small space. So after, let's see, after that, 
so the comment form ends this is the div for the comment form so let me just put that in here uh, after that we're gonna do a clear fix just to clear all the floats so clear whoops class clear fix all right and then we want our comments so we'll have a div with the class of comment this will represent the first comment whoops what did I do All right. Um, actually, you know what? We need to wrap. This should be comments, and then each one will be comment. Okay. So this this will be comment. All right. Okay. First thing, we're gonna have the avatar. Well, we're gonna have a link first. So a class is gonna be comment comment avatar and we want to pull left okay now we need the the comments avatar which is going to be the same image it's going to be that user image Alright, and then under that we want the comment text. Okay, so we'll have a div class will be comment text. Alright. And this video is getting really long, so after we finish this first comment post, I'm gonna stop and we'll continue in the next one. All right, so I'm, for the comment text, I'm gonna just paste in a paragraph. All right, and then we just wanna add another clear fix. Whoops. Under, under the comment, which is right here. So add that, whoops. All right, so let's take a look at that. All right, so this is how it should look um, because we haven't added any, we haven't added the CSS for this image because we're gonna set it really small, but that's how it should look right now. So I'm gonna stop the video uh, and then we'll finish up this page in the 